What's up, everybody? Uh, David here again, and today we are going to solve some trigonometry question from test book. All right. And the first thing that we are going to do is to solve this mystery triangles. All right. And um. From the graph, I mean from this triangle, and you can see the uh, some missing angles and missing sides. So first thing that we are we are going to solve is we need to find out the z for this um, for this triangle. As you can see, z here, and we are going to use a square plus b square equals c square to solve this uh, triangle I mean first because we need to find out what is z is so we put a in a square plus 15 square which is um, let me get my calculator all right it is 289 so Square root of 289 is uh, 17. I consider it as 17. Alright, so now we have done the uh, z is 17. And right now we have to calculate out uh, one of the angle from uh, the triangle, right? So whether we are going to find out x first or c first, and I mean angle c first, which is y. So for this one, we're going to do because we are finding angle, and we have to find out what a c means, and we need to see. I mean, we need to know. We and we already know what is z and fifteen. So Z is 17 and the BC, which is 15. So what we need to do is to calculate all the angle. And remember, finding the angle of the triangle is using like sine negative 1, cosine negative 1, or tangent negative 1. So uh, here, because we need to find out the angle Y first, so we have to find. So we have to use the adjacent, which is fifteen, and hypotenuse, which is seventeen. So let me just do this very quick. We're going to use in cosine because so control. You have to remember that. So cosine. Oops, I, what I just did. And let me see. All right, let me get, get go to that page. Draw and. Cosine negative one equals fifteen over seventeen, and after that we get the answer as um y equals twenty eight point zero seven two four eight six. Oops. Well, I just run it to uh, uh, 725. All right. Oops. Jesus. I mean, 5. 7, 5. Yes. And then we just find out the um, angle Y. So right now, what we, what we need to do, because we already know the... Angle B, which is the 90, uh, 90 degrees, uh, it is a right triangle and angle B is 90 degrees. So what we need to do is we use 180 to, uh, yep, we, uh, we are going to use 180 minus angle Y, which is 28.0725 and minus 90. And we get the x is um sixty one point nine two seven five one three zero six. 
So this is our final answer for the for this triangle. And if you are very interested in this question, you can go check on the textbook on page uh two hundred and seventy one, which you you can find out. And I know this uh triangle is very mystery, so let's. So we will do another one like this one, also from the textbook as uh page two hundred and seventy one, and. As you can see, this graph, uh, the angle edge is sixty degrees, and edge i is eight meters or centimeters based on your choice. But what we have to know is the sides, uh, g h and g i are the same. So, uh, it doesn't mean that g, I mean h i equals g i or Equals gh, but uh, what we need to like what we know right now just like gh equal gi. So uh, actually, we just need to find out one of the sides from the triangle, and then we can you know find out those mystery uh, angles and sides. So uh, this triangle seems very simple because one angle has show you uh, that is ninety degrees and angle edge is 60 degrees so the angle right here angle right here must be 30 degrees 30 degrees so if we put them together is 60 degrees and then let's see all right uh where are going because we need to find out uh, I, which is on this part, I believe, and then we are going to, um, sort of find out what is the length of that triangle. So, what we need to do is we need to, um, you, we need to use the tan, cause, uh, I mean, this one is opposite. So let me get my calculator very quick. And uh, let's do this one together. Alright. Oh, just hold on a second. Okay, so what we need to do is, because we it is opposite angle of sixty degrees, so we're going to use tangent. All right, so for tangent sixty, oops. I mean, uh, my ha my handwriting on this iPad is very bad, so for tangent sixty degrees. Because we are finding the angle, right? 60 degrees equals what? It is 6.928203233. Uh, Alright, so this for 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 J, I believe. Yep, yeah, it is for J. As you can see from the textbook, and for i, we just need to use a square plus b square equals c square to find out the answer. And the let me see. All right, and it is the final answer is eight. I equals eight. I, which is I believe this part. So this part, so 8, and this one also 8. So as you can see right now, those um, those three sides are the same. And this is for the question 1. Is it? No, question 5, A to B for on page 
271. And uh, you can check that out if you have time and, you know, sort of thing. And thanks for being here. I'm Mr. David. See you next time.